Hello, welcome to another episode of the wonderful Seasoning Angels. Today we are making kwa coco. Kwa coco is a traditional dish from Cameroon. So today we will be using coco yams. So I'll be grating the coco yams in the juicer just like when we did the egg long video. So let's get started. After we have grated the cocoa yams in the juicer, now we are going to take some salt. Salt. Salt to taste. Yes, salt to taste. Next, I'm adding some beef bouillon maggi. So now I'm gonna add some pepper. You can use pepper of your choice, any ch type of pepper you would like. And we're gonna add some janga. Janga is dried baby shrimp or crayfish. Now we will add some palm oil. Some now we have some smoked herring and smoked anchovy. If you want to learn how to smoke your own fish, watch my previous fish smoking video. So let's put this in. Now we have to mix it. Yes, so now I will stir and mix everything together. Yeah. You add more palm oil to the consistency and color that you would like for your kwa coco. Mommy, maybe we can taste that. Do you know if we are cooking? It's good. It's now time to start filling the banana leaves. So you take a scoop of the mixture. Now I'm going to wrap it with foil after. So I'm also wrapping with foil over the banana leaf because I'm not quite a pro with uh, folding and wrapping with the banana leaves. So I put the foil around it so then it doesn't bust open in my pot and make a mess and we lose all the wonderful filling. One. Now we will continue. Is the fish saying, Get me out of the bowl? This is kind of like how the Mexicans wrap a burrito, where you t put the sides in a little bit before you continue rolling. So it makes like a perfect little pocket. Now I'm gonna wrap it with the foil. And 
I'm going to wrap the foil kind of the same way too, like that, and then continue to roll. There you go. Put them in the big pot. I'm going to put one inside. So now that they're all in here, I will just put some water towards the bottom, put the lid on, put it on the stove, and let it cook. There we go. I'm gonna boil it for about one hour, and then I'll come get it. Just keep checking for water level, and if it looks like it's low, keep adding more water. So the qua cocoa has been cooking for about an hour and 30 minutes. So now I will turn the heat off and let it cool before we serve. So the qua cocoa is ready been out of there for a while. It's been cooling. really good. I hope you try this recipe and please like, subscribe, and keep following me on YouTube and Facebook on Seasoning Angels. Thank you!